Cardinal baseball being back in St. Louis downtown is going to come alive and you know it's just definitely a good feeling. More energy inside Bush Stadium tonight now that the Cardinals are playing their first game since 2019 at full capacity. While fans can fill the stands, there are still some restrictions. News for us, Kim St. John is live outside of the ballpark tonight. Kim, you've been out there all evening. Is there a little extra excitement in the air tonight? I would say so, Corey. In fact, the Cardinals just scored if you've been watching the game, and it was really cool actually to hear everybody in the stadium just erupt and cheering. It looks like from our vantage point that the, the stands aren't too full right now. We've been seeing a number of people leaving, but I'm telling you, they're excited to be back, excited to have Bush Stadium back at full capacity. Keep in mind, though, like you will both mentioned, there are some restrictions. For example, the concession stands are open, but cash payments are not allowed. The other part of this is they're only doing digital ticketing, so you have to bring your phone to make sure they can scan that when you walk into Bush Stadium. But again, as I mentioned, fans are just so pumped to be back at full capacity. We're gonna root for Cardinals win. Well, Cardinals it's win, about baby. time. If you know anything about Cardinals fans, you know they're loyal. Hopefully a 20 nothing game. <laughs> that is very optimistic. Yeah. Despite near record breaking heat Monday, just block that out and cheer on the Redbirds. Thousands of fans filled Bush Stadium for the first full capacity game in over a year. We're just lifelong Cardinal fans, so it doesn't matter if we're winning, losing. Nearby bar Patios is looking forward to the expected boost in business. I think the day game on Wednesday is going to be huge. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I think that's when you're going to really see Cardinals baseball back like what we're used to. During the recent series against Cleveland, before crowd restrictions were lifted, the card sold about 16,000 tickets per game compared to this current series against Miami, now selling about 24,000 tickets per game, filling just over half the state. I asked the Cardinals senior vice president of sales and marketing why he thinks tickets aren't selling faster. I think there are some fans that, you know, are, are probably not ready to get out and do things. Uh, but um, it's more, I think, of planning and timing. Uh, we have so many fans that come in from outside the marketplace. Uh, we project our weekend crowds, uh, over a third of our crowd, is, which would be 10 to 12,000 people, are coming from a 100 mile radius or more out of the city. Like this crew. This is our annual father-son trip. We've been coming since he was four. Chris Mackey and his kids flew in from Jonesboro, Arkansas. It was hard last year to get that refund from our tickets and, uh, you know, just the disappointment of not being able to come. This dad hoping this tradition continues for many more years. I grew up in Missouri, so just kind of showing my my boys the love of baseball of, you know in the Cardinal Nation. All right, so if you're coming to a future game, you may notice traffic is a little more hectic, and let me show you why. If you see these barricades, they're on several streets. This is Broadway. It's actually reducing the lanes in many cases to just two. These barricades were put in place several months ago to help with the ongoing drag racing issue that we're seeing downtown. Corey, the city's telling me that there were street engineers who were planning to come out, look at the situation, especially when the game gets out, to see how it's going, and then they'll basically evaluate, okay, yes, it's working really well. We'll go ahead and leave the barricades there indefinitely or no, we need to adjust our plan. So again, changes could be coming. You can count on us to follow back up with the city on that. All right, Kim St. Ange live downtown for us tonight. Thank you.